Smart telescopes have recently taken the astrophotography community by storm. Wow. But in today's video, we're going to be exploring the capabilities of the latest revolutionary piece of astronomy kit, smart binoculars. In theory, these seem amazing. They do lack the imaging functions of smart telescopes, but in terms of a handy guide to understanding the night sky, these could be incredible. With the recent release of the insanely capable Seastar S30 all-in-one smart telescope for just $349, the question has to be asked, how much are these new Unistellar Envision smart binoculars and should you choose them over a smart telescope? Well, with a variety of smart telescopes to choose from nowadays for less than $499, the competition is fierce. But these binoculars are surprisingly just $119. Wait, sorry, my bad, I missed out a digit. These are $1,199. Okay, change of plan. In today's video, we're going to create our own smart binoculars for less than $300, as we learn from the do's and don'ts of the outrageously expensive $1,199 Envision binoculars. Can it be done? Of course it can. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. So, first things first, these binoculars have not been released yet, so you may be wondering how I came across them. Well, it's thanks to a recent comment from the official Unistellar YouTube page on my video reviewing their absurdly overpriced $4,000 EV Scope 2. Now, in hindsight, I would say my review was a lot kinder to this smart telescope than it perhaps should have been. The alternative astrophotography setup you could purchase with a budget of $4,000 would be ridiculous. It turned out you could achieve far better images with a Seastar S50 smart telescope, which you could have bought eight of for the same price as one EV Scope 2. In my review video, I compared an image of the Crab Nebula that I'd captured with their telescope to an image on their website of the Crab Nebula that they said was captured with the same telescope. Now I gave them the benefit of doubt and I tried to excuse my image's poor quality by saying that I was imaging from my light polluted garden. But still, this was blatant false advertising. How many beginners in astrophotography were going to sink 4,000 US dollars into this telescope thinking they would be getting the same results? In their comment, they ask where I found this image of the Crab Nebula which is a really bizarre question because in my review video, I use footage of me on their product page for the EV Scope 2. But then I realized I was being gaslit because if you now go onto Unistellar's website, they have had a complete rebrand. Everything has been redesigned. And I must say, for the better. Credit where credit's due, they now only feature real images that were captured by the telescope on its product page. Which you might be thinking, well, that's not actually much. Am I supposed to be impressed by the fact that they're not posting other people's images that were taken with better telescopes and claiming them as their own? Yes, you should be impressed because any company that wants you to pay $4,000 for a telescope that takes images like this is a brave, brave company. Their comment on my video led me to see the upcoming release of their latest product, their smart binoculars. Now it's not yet released and despite exceeding the funding required in July 2024, customers will have to wait until November November 2025 at the earliest to receive their copy. But unfortunately, all I have to go off at the moment is the specifications on their product page. And here they are. So the most important component of these binoculars are the aperture and magnification, which are 50 millimeters and 10 times, giving you a field of view of six degrees. That is a very wide field of view, but I get that you have to account for human movement. When you're free holding the binoculars, your arms are going to move. The wider the field of view, the less apparent this movement is, but also the less magnified your image. One of the advertised features of these binoculars is displaying the lunar landing sites on the moon, which as a premise sounds really, really cool. I'd be very interested to see that. But with these binoculars, this is your field of view when looking at the moon. That is ridiculous. Based on this information alone, you are simply not going to be able to easily differentiate the lunar landing sites with these binoculars. Now, these are the equivalent binoculars to the Envision in terms of size and magnification. I can't really comment on the glass quality because it doesn't seem to be a comprehensive scale. One really cool gimmick that I think they could have gone with would have been to make zoom binoculars. This would work really well with exploring the night sky. Of course, as I'm sure binocular enthusiasts will point out, anything beyond the default magnification will be worse quality. But having this option to use on the moon, planets and brightest stars would be very unique indeed. Here's another YouTuber's video showcasing how the moon looks through different magnifications of their zoom binoculars, which I think is very impressive. Yeah. 
In a video that I made a while back, I suggested combining two zoom eyepieces with a bino viewer to use with a telescope. I've never seen anyone attempt this before or since the video, but I was actually very surprised to find that it worked really well. Observing the Orion Nebula was a fairly surreal experience. It really gave the deep sky object a sense of depth. So if possible, I would love to see smart zoom binoculars. Just a thought. When it comes to weight, the Envision is only slightly above the average weight you'd see for similarly sized binoculars, but that is to be expected due to its additional features. So all in all, it'd be cool to use these binoculars, but I think it's at least twice as much as it needs to be in terms of price. And with that in mind, let's see if I can outdo these smart binoculars with my very own pair. I present to you the astronomical smart binoculars, patent pending. So here we go, this is the smart binocular setup and it was achieved for a very low budget compared to the Unistellar binoculars coming out very soon. You can make this as advanced as you wish, you can even increase the power of the binoculars. I've actually managed to find a very decent pair that were available for roughly 100 US dollars. Any additional accessories required to make this entire setup still put us well below the comparative budget of the Unistellar smart binoculars. We have an SV Bonnie camera which is basically as low budget as astronomy cameras get and then we have an SV Bonnie guide scope. The additional accessories required to mount it all together cost about 10 US dollars and then we have it placed on a 25 dollar tripod. So that's a first look at my smart binoculars and here is the text breakdown of it all. I've gone for the Celestron 25 by 70 binoculars which are quite a bit more powerful than the Envision. I've had these for a while and I really do enjoy them but the unique part of my strategy is that I'm using a very tiny telescope on top of my binoculars as my own personal night sky guide. How does that work? Allow me to explain. The Envision binoculars use the same method as your smartphone app to direct you towards objects in our night sky. This has always proven to be quite temperamental. But the benefit of this is it does not require their binoculars to feature a camera. With my binoculars, I'll be using my mini telescope and camera to image the night sky in order to produce an image that my tablet will then analyze in the blink of an eye and tell me precisely where I'm looking in the night sky. But here's the best bit. Now, using this push to assistant feature on the incredible SharpCap software, with one image, you achieve directions to the rest of the universe. So far, our total cost is just over $200. Now, the Unistellar binoculars require the addition of a smartphone or tablet in order to select your targets. So really, you should have to add the cost of this required accessory. But let's face it, if you're buying these smart binoculars, it's a fair assumption that you have a more than capable smartphone. So in order to compete with the Unistellar Envision binos, I could simply use a free sky atlas and the compass mode of the explore feature. I could even add a cheap mount adapter to my binoculars for my phone to sit on them, but this compass method is not always as precise as we'd hope. For $1,199, I'm expecting pinpoint results. How are you going to tell me where the lunar landing sites are if your measurements are off by even a fraction of a degree? The margin of error for this seems to be way too large at this field of view, especially with no discernible way to identify the moon itself. Seriously, I'm considering buying a pair just to figure this feature out. Like how are the augmented reality overlays this precise without utilizing a camera to plate solve your view of the night sky? The precision of the compass has to be perfect, but I wanna use an application that allows me to be more precise than a compass. So in order to keep this setup as bite-sized and portable as possible, I've purchased a Raspberry Pi and a three and a half inch touchscreen monitor together costing an additional $100. Now with the help of our mini telescope and camera, we can plate solve our view of the night sky and receive directions from SharpCap towards whatever deep sky object we are looking for. It's then up to me to slew the binoculars myself towards the target. The difference is these aren't rough estimates. They are as precise as you can be, which we need to be since our binoculars have a longer focal length than the Envision binos. So as far as keeping our set of bite size goes, this may well be a brilliant solution. But the next step towards improving it is to make it as equally compact as the Envision binoculars. Now I can't provide you with a decent view of what the night sky looks like for these binoculars, but what I can do is use the free application Stellarium to replicate what certain objects will look like through each pair of binoculars. Now the idea that you cannot even make out Jupiter's moons with these $1,199 binoculars is very worrying. This would be perfect for their augmented overlays if it could point out not only the fact that these are not stars, but which of Jupiter's Galilean moons they actually are would be incredible. Perhaps that's just too advanced at the moment, but then I'd say their feature to highlight lunar landing sites requires a similar level of skill. Okay, so let's lay all of this out in a comparison table. 
This is a comparison between the Envision Binos and the Celestron Skymaster 25 by 70 binoculars. I can see certain people preferring a wider field of view and a lighter weight, so that means it's not clear and obvious that the Celestron binoculars are the better choice. But now let's compare my smart binoculars with the Envision and a wider range of their features. The augmented overlays will be the biggest expense when producing the Envision. It's undeniably a cool feature and certainly provides a unique function with its target lockability. I would certainly pay a decent amount of money for a pair of binoculars that could lock on to what I was seeing so that I could easily share this view with another person. It is a no-brainer that the bigger and more powerful your binoculars are, the less portable they are going to be. But this is especially true when utilizing a plate solving mechanism. The DIY smart binos will undoubtedly take up more room in your bag. If someone could cut off the fat of this setup and even introduce an adjustable zoom feature, as well as implementing the Envision target lock, then I think they would have a product that would be able to compete with the mind-blowingly successful Seastar S50 and Dwarf telescopes. And the thing is, as an amateur, buying products for consumer prices, this all cost me under $300. So the fact that these Envision binoculars are expected to hit the shelves at $1,199 each is crazy. The bottom line is, the Unistellar Envision binoculars are a cool and sleek take on one of every astronomer's most overlooked tools. They provide many useful features and are perfect for beginners, trying to find their way across the night sky. Their retail price, however, is enough to put off anyone dipping their toes into astronomy, and worse yet, dissuade anyone with a $1,200 budget from going for a more powerful and versatile alternative. A very similar rendition of this product can be produced by yourself with less than 20 minutes of work. The only question you have to ask yourself is, are these augmented overlays worth an extra $1,000? What do you think? I'd be very interested to hear your alternative takes on $1,199 smart binoculars. Their high price point certainly gives you a lot of wiggle room when it comes to selecting improvements. If you are interested in the Unistellar Envision binoculars, then I have linked the product in the description below. I have worked with Unistellar before when reviewing their EV Scope 2, and I have to say that they were very professional and extremely delightful to work with. Their previous products have been very well made. That being said, as an amateur astronomer who's constantly working on a very strict budget, I wish their innovative products were available for more affordable prices. But then again, they have already made $2 million on a pair of binoculars that won't even be shipped until more than a year from now. So what the hell do I know? Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below. I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.